is Crystal. I relocated to the Caribbean island of Aruba where I live with my husband and dogs over four years ago. I own a travel consultant company based out of the United States, but we spend a lot of our time traveling the world. This life I built at one time was just a dream, but welcome to my reality. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Sandals Royal Curacao. You probably watched our video from one year ago and we are back to show you updates and a really cool room that we stayed in. So let's get to it. This is the Curacao Island poolside butler bungalow with patio tranquility soaking tub. As many of you know, I've been living in Aruba for the past five years. So Curacao is actually a papiamento word, the native language of Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao, which means heart. And all of the bungalows are surrounded by this iconic heart-shaped formation pool, and it's really cool. This room type does come with a butler service. And I was actually told during one of my meetings that recently a group of friends rented out all of these. So they got the whole pool to themselves, which is an awesome idea if you have a group going to Sandal sometime soon. Now's a great time to remind you all that I do own a travel agency and we do work with Sandal's brand closely. It costs you nothing more to use our services and we are often on site scoping out these places so we can give you firsthand knowledge for your stay. These are some of my favorite grounds of any Sandals property. It is a very large resort. They have food trucks. We passed by a movie that was going on outside. There's just always something great going on here. This food was from Alos restaurant, which is like a Mediterranean inspired. I loved it. I thought the chicken was amazing. So overall, we really have liked the food at all Sandals properties, but especially this one. Full gym review while there's only one other person in here because I don't like filming random people. All techno gym equipment, brand spanking new, great quality stuff. Got a lot of really unique machines. This one, this one over here, we actually climb. So it's a lot of different stuff than what I have in my little gym at my condo complex. But overall, everything you could need, and it's 9 30 a.m., the resort's pretty full, and not a lot of people in here. Over here they do like beach volleyball. They also do pool volleyball, which it seems like people like a little more probably because of the heat. And then they have these really cool little lounger things that are cute. Um, so yeah, lots of activities all the time. And then there's like little hidden jacuzzis and things all over the resort. There's so many pools, there's so many options. Here is the beach club area. They do a lot of nightly shows here. And then over here, you can see the beach. It's kind of like an inlet. I said this last time too, there are so many bars here. Like we've only walked a little bit. This is not even half of the resort. This is our fourth bar that we're seeing. Like you can definitely get a drink really fast around here. This was a first for us in Curacao. We went on a sunset sail and I was very impressed. It was very different than Aruba, which I was not expecting. So definitely check it out. You can book it through Island Roots, or of course, if you book with us at Wanderlust Jet Center, we will take care of it for you. This is a view of the resort from the water, which just goes to show you how big it is. Phenomenal. The fish, phenomenal. The whole thing. It's so good. 
highly recommend coming here. I don't remember having this reaction to Vincent's. I don't remember having this reaction to Butch's. Zuka, come to this restaurant for real. <laughs> Mike, what are we about to do? Beer chug, you know, I won last year, so I have to retain my belt. They're gonna call me up, so. Yeah. Uh, he came back just to make sure. As a matter of fact, he took a flight, okay? Uh, a couple minutes flight to come down here just to make sure he didn't miss his. His beer chugging competition. And ladies and gentlemen, he is right here in their midst. It's not me. A boy boy. It's it's my friend here. My friend. So I want you guys to put your hands together. And he goes by the name of Mike. He goes by the name of Mike. Okay. Five squads. I need five squads. Come on top. Egg two. Egg three. Here we go. Here we go. The hell? Come on. Come on. Come on, everybody, let's go, one more time. Yes, we are. Back again. Yeah. Cheers. Three. Two, three. Oh, hell yeah. What? Okay, so here's the deal. At sunset, you want to go to the lobby bar, but first, you want to stop at the coffee shop. You want to get four shots of espresso. You're going to bring it up to the lobby bar, and you're going to tell them to make you an espresso martini with the fresh espresso. Otherwise, you're just gonna get coffee liqueur and no one likes that. We're espresso martini connoisseurs, so we're gonna show you how it's done. Okay, so this is the lobby bar. Look at that chandelier. This is why we love it at sunset because if you sit out here, we're actually a little late right now. And it won't focus that well, but there's a little sunset going on. So usually the sunset's right there in between the palm trees and it's gorgeous. So this nighttime view of the Dos Awa Infinity Pool. Such a pretty place. There you have it. Tito's, Lua, fresh espresso, little simple soup. All right, so we're at Gatsu Gatsu, which is Mike's favorite restaurant, the sushi bar. We met some new friends yesterday, which is always so fun and all-inclusive. You always meet new friends, so introduce yourselves. Hey, my name is Macy Branch. I just recently got married to Bradley Branch, and um, we just met our new friends, and we're having yes. so much fun at Sandals. Newlyweds, oh, newlyweds. Yeah. Hey, I'm Bradley Branch. Us. Meet these cool people to show us around, some, some close to be local. They really enjoyed it. How was the sushi? As usual, 10 out of 10. Everything was phenomenal. Mike is the main reviewer. Mike, how did yep. you like the sushi? Loved it. How was your first uh, raw slab of tuna? 10 out of 10. <laughs> Red? I enjoyed it too. Very good. Here you we got go. one little piece right here. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna get Wait it. Yeah. 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 That's all you, Bradley. So after dinner, there's usually a show. Tonight, I think, is it 80s? I forget. We're gonna go find out, though. So late night until 1 a.m., you can get pizzas. Sometimes they have gluten-free, not today. But uh, yeah, they're pretty good. We'll show you guys when it's all done.